what's going on guys i am here at the garage i hope you guys are having a good start to your october again uh as you know if you're a browns fan our brownies stunk it up last week in their game uh hopefully next week they'll do a better job preseason or this beginning of the season ain't looking too good for us all the hype and everything is basically going out the window uh, for me personally, I felt like they needed a lot more time, especially Odell and Baker Mayfield getting that chemistry together. Uh, I felt like they should have got a lot more time in practice and in scrimmage practicing. Uh, should have got more, a lot more time together and the whole team, of course. But, hey, whatever. Uh, I guess just that's how it goes in the NFL. Try to reserve your, uh, I guess, better players so they hopefully don't get injured and stuff like that. And I get that. So, But today what we're working on is got a landscaping video for my landscape watchers. Working on the right Velke 48-inch hydro walk behind. We've got a blade change. Uh, blades are getting dull. So got to swap them out, get those sharpened up. And then whenever these get dull, I'll switch them out again and then probably... Go ahead and change those for some new blades and then have those as my swaps. But got it up on the Daytona three ton jack. All right. Some things you'll need is your ratchet uh, sockets, two pieces of wood. If you got three blades, if you got two, two blades on your mower, you only need one piece of wood or something to block off the other blade. Um, this is just what I use. I'll explain that in a second. And then obviously you need your uh, new blades. But for me, for my push mower or my uh, Toro Time Master 30 inch, this is what I use. Uh, just a Milwaukee Fuel uh, electric ratchet. Uh, but for my commercial mowers, I use the electric impact. All right, this just makes the job a lot faster, makes it go faster. And basically, when I use this, I know it's, the bolt's going to come off every single time. So this just makes the job faster, guys. But for the wood, explaining the wood, or my old-fashioned guys who want to do it the ratchet way and use a breaker bar or anything like that, all you do is put your piece of wood, jam it in one of the blades while you're taking off the other blade so that when you're twisting that nut this blade doesn't spin and all you do is spin that nut to where it won't come off so that's why you use the pieces of wood but I just wanted to have the wood out here to show you guys that I don't need the wood because I have my impact right here so it gets the nut off pretty fast to where my other two blades don't spin and have me just spinning the blades trying to get the nut off so I'm going to prop you guys up here real quick and show you how fast this really goes. And for my newbie guys, all right, when you're doing blade changes, this is definitely a good time for you guys to clean your mower decks. All right, I clean mine weekly. All right, I got uh, some yards to do tomorrow, so I'll be cleaning my deck again tomorrow. This is just what it looks like after last week. It was just a little bit wet from we had a drizzle last week so a little bit of the grass got clumped up underneath the deck here but then again uh i'll be cleaning it again tomorrow so it'll look nice fresh and the black stuff that you see there is uh, i think it's graphite that i used hold on i'll show you guys this down here yeah this is what i use guys this blaster graphite lubricant i just spray it underneath the deck and then this does a decent job of keeping off wet grass and keeping big clumps out of we're out from underneath the deck from sticking onto the deck so this is just what i spray my deck with and i only spray this on here after i have fully cleaned the deck and then power washed it as well and then scrubbed it some so it's perfectly clean and then I spray this I don't just spray it when it's dirty so let's get to it guys
something else that I want to mention to you guys is your blades are directional. Okay, so basically you want to spin it in your hand to see where the cutting part of the blade is. All right, so basically if you picture yourself mowing grass and the blades are going, you want the blades to be cutting the grass, obviously. So spinning it in your hand will show you which way your blade needs to go. Because picture this backside of the blade. You got your lip, your lift right here, and then you have the back side of the blade. If you spin the blade this way, and you see the actual cutting part of the blade here on this right side, if you spin the blade to the right like this, nothing is cutting the grass. There's no sharp edge here for the blade to cut any of the grass. But if you spin it towards the left this way, you see the sharpness of the blade right here. Spinning it to the left will show you that if a blade is right here and the sharp part is right here, it's going to cut the blade if it's spinning to the left this way. So this lets you know which side or which way to put your blade on. And before you guys take your blades off, if you're a newbie, remember what your blades look like previously before you install your new blades so that you can know how your new blades will go back on. Because I know a lot of guys that have put their blade, blades back on wrong because they don't remember how to, the washers go on them. But for mine, I have a washer on top of my blade, then I have another washer at the bottom of the blade and then my nut goes through the middle so that's what it looks like and all I do now and this is important too don't ever use an impact gun to initially screw in your screws especially if you do not want to strip out this bolt because that's another expense that you'll have to think about if you strip uh, this screw out so I hand tighten mine until I can't hand tighten it anymore and then I finish it off with the impact. The only time I'm really using the impact's full potential or power is just to get the nut off. Alright guys and that's it. 